coming back into the sheet to a degree. Wolf, you have seen it on the cards as well. As much as I do like seeing Sheik against Cloud, that might be how someone ends up in anger management. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Um. <laughs> Here we go. Game one, K9, Spargo, Cloud versus Sheik. Solid goal. Oh no! Now, now that that's rough. That's a rough start. K9 just has to shake that off. Get back to business. Combo game, starting to mount itself. We're getting there. The neutral team gonna get punished. Forward throw. To the bouncing fish. Go fish. K9's reading the options. Forward air chasing the back air. Hello, advantage state. You got my double jump. And suddenly, we're looking at an even game. Sparkle drops down with the back air. Gets the follow up. Bouncing fish trying to mix up the recovery. Darts fully charged up. Spargo keeping K9. He, he's crating K9. You know? It's just like, I, I want off this lid. No, no. no. Bad dog. Side B connect. Oh, no. Tries to go for the get-up attack. Spacing is going to be there from Spargo, who's enjoying once again a full stop lead. Nine opting out of the forward throw chain. Looks like it was a pretty interesting setup on the platform. Let's see what he was going for. Tries to read the tech options. Forward air. Forward air again. Spargo rolls away. Punished. Bouncing fish doesn't connect this time. K9 again finds himself back on the ledge, gets back in. Spargo finds he found the B button. Forward tilt, neutral there, looks for the fair. Dash attack keeps the pressure on, but Spargo drops down with the commercial interruption. Like, stop. Forward throw, directional air dodge, punished. Spargo trying to establish the spacing with the back air. K9's ready for it. It is here, 76.8, side B at the ledge, could be a moment on, it goes out. Even a character as fast as Sheik, not going to be able to punish that spot dodge, it's snuffed out afterwards, forward smash, and it's not out of the question. Especially if there are openings like that, K9 Shield has seen better days though, so he's going to need to go ahead and make some kind of move or break away. Back air, that hit, that's going to be game up. Smash connects, though. Spargo casually stating his bands. Now, Spargo does go up one game in his best of five, but you got to think, if K9 didn't lose that first stock the way he did, could be having a different conversation right now. Going back to Pokemon Stadium 2, K9 agrees. He's like, I don't have to change too much. He's like, I just got to make sure I don't get a beat at zero off stage. Smile. Back air chain, K9. Sticking it to Spargo for the moment. 47.2. Spargo looking to relieve the pressure. Up B's going to get shielded up. Argo's first bit of offense in the second game is an up throw. Ooh, darts connect. No angle for a bouncing fish. Spargo uses the double jump, mixes up the timing to connect the forward air, fouls it up into an up tilt chain, getting juggled. Spar Spargo's out here looking like Barnum and Bailey. K9 does get the forward throw, pushes Spargo off to the side, darts, get off my ledge. Spargo says, I'm back. A squirrely roll, doesn't get punished. Fishes for a back air, spot dodge, no down tilt. Have a bit of a seesaw back and forth. Ooh, SPI is out of the side B. 
and, and triple digits, that's probably the stock. Ooh! You know, a lot of conversations had about the down smash these days, but that forward smash is pretty quick off the draw. Forward air chain, Spargo waiting to play. But then you look down at the bottom, you're like, oh, 20 seconds. Fair enough. Spargo picks up stock number one, down throw. That looks to be a pretty unique part of K9's overall play. A lot of times, a low percentage, you'll see the, the forward throw and the bouncing pitch kind of thing. But it seems like K9 likes going for the down throw just to, like, stick to the to his opponent just like follows after him and forward air and stuff like that it's working out back air gets around neutral air bouncing fish uh and the remix i died i wasn't expecting that second bouncing fish back air not gonna be able to do it run it Almost here. Spargo smartly waiting, leaving it at 99% so he can find a better opportunity. Uses it on the side B. Up smash, trying to punish the aggressive option. K9 said, no thanks. K9's really starting to make magic happen with this matchup, but as I say that, dash attack connects, and suddenly, an even stock game. I'm out here doing cheap things right now. Dash attack. Limit charged up. K9's ready for it. Looks for the bouncing fish. Neutral air dodging time. And here comes Spargo. Bench pressing that sword with the up air. Blade beam said, get off of me. Both players rolling. Up special out of shield. Reliable option for Cloud. Spargo drops down, down tilt, waiting for him. Tries to get the drag down onto the platform. Up smash, doesn't connect, but oh no! Not like this. Hello darkness, my old friend. K9's looking like, how do I get, how am I back here? How am I? It's so tough too because he he's doing really well in his matchup. Three, two, one, go! And it would be hard to make it make the argument of like, oh well just don't go off the stage as much. Because the second stock he got was with the double bouncing fish. So oh no, oh no. I think the best thing for K9 to do is just to stick to his guns. Honestly, doesn't have to change much. It just has to really be on the ball with his low recovery. If he does that, I, I do feel like he's... We're at the very least in game four. Down tilt, though, catches him at the ledge. Limit has to be used to preserve the first stock. Bouncing fish just misses and vanish. The only thing vanishing is Fargo's first stock. Go getting back to it. Bouncing fish. Ooh. I get you want to mix up the recovery, but that was a hair raising moment for K9. It's back on though. No harm, no foul. Trying to get the combo game going yet again. Forward tilts, forward airs. There's the parry up special. I want my turn now. I one of the best in the game that's making that statement. Now, part of me almost thinks if, if K9 just knew he wasn't making it back, he could have tried to, like, down, like, do something real cheeky to just yoink that stock early off of Spargo. Because Spargo really went out there. Here we are. Still pretty much an even game. Up tilt misses, down tilt will connect though for K9. He tries to get the jab lock follow up. Just a bit off on the timing there. There's the parry, forward tilt. We're responding. Spargo has the limit. I really like what K9's doing with the bouncing fish. It's kind of like jumping high, 
It feels like he's trying to bait Spargo into punishing the Bouncing Fish, but he just responds with that time. But oh no, up smash out of shield. It's a me, a mod. No, actually, it's just clap. Blade Beam shielded up, Bouncing Fish, buck 07. Not enough to do it. I'm having palpitations every time K9 goes off the sta stage and his up special comes out. But here we go. K9 breaks out of the shield with the forward air, tries to get the chain going. Spargo breaks it up. K9 with the tenacity. Trying to find the opening, throws out the darts. Spargo's like, well, I can charge stuff up too. Spargo had a back air there waiting for him. Shows the empty option. Gives K9 the opportunity for the punish. Up air. Punished as well. K9 keeping Spargo on the ledge. Keeping him guessing down air. Does find its way through though. Blade Beam shielded up. There's the back throw forward tilt. Uh oh. One exchange evens this up. If not, gives Spargo the lead. K9 has to be careful. We could neutral air connects. You see that smooth criminal just like glide to the ground that he pulled off? I see you out here. Doesn't get the big hit off of the up air. Spargo gets out of that. Up special. Punished with a down smash. Hello, advantage state. Blade beam. Keeping K9 honest. Misses the darts. Spooky option. Spargo looking for the back air. Gets the dash attack instead. Limit. Steps into the batter's box. Doesn't get the side B. K9 remembering how the last game ended. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to jump out there for that. I'm good. Good call. This is the grab. Spargo nowhere near the next limit. 160. Make that 170. This can be where Sheep struggles. Getting these high percentage kills. What's the option? Going to be back air. And Spargo, kid's got ice in his veins. Hangs on, finds his option, backward area. It's tough because all three of those games, a slight difference. In some of those exchanges, it could have easily been 3-0 the other way. 